Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial of mine and um, in this tutorial I just want to show you how to plot a stem and leaf plot in Microsoft Excel. Uh, there has been so many videos that uh, teach how to plot uh, stem and leaf plots uh, here in YouTube but uh, I just felt like uh, using this method to also uh, construct one and show you what it is like actually what is term and leaf plot does is what we find here um, uh, what this means is that in a distribution of numbers uh, like these that are here these are two different distributions uh, what happens is that you have numbers like 10 and another number 10 11 12 uh, like you can see so 1 and 2 makes 12 1 and 4 makes 14 1 and 9 makes uh, 19 and so it goes to the next one these are 20s 20, 21 so we see that 21 is uh, twice here 26 is twice and then 29 comes up once but what a stem and leaf plot helps us to do is to see uh, the kind of distribution of uh, numbers uh, within a, uh, a set of numbers so that is what it actually does for us you can even use it to you know like plot uh, a chart you can use it to plot a chart of um, the distributions that you find here so that's exactly what you can see at the back there is a kind of count of the numbers that are in the tens, the twenties, the thirties, and so on, and then uh, you can come up with an area chart, like you have, uh, like you have one here. So let me try to make it a little more visible. Yeah, like you have here. So let's go straight in and learn how to do this uh, leaf and stem chart. So I'm going to come here, and the first thing I'm going to do is to and get some numbers so how do I do that I use the rand between I use the rand between function and the rand between function I want it from 10 um, to something like 100 so I'm trying to tell Excel that give me numbers from 10 and to uh, just any set of numbers so here I have 48 numbers here so we can use this okay so we can use this so we can test it to see that uh, if we find the minimum number here in this range we find that it comes up to 10 uh, sorry comes up to 16 and then uh, the maximum number maximum uh, it's going to change because I have not uh, so yeah it's, it's it's just changing here because I'm yet to make these numbers fixed so I'm going to copy the numbers and then I'm going to paste them as text so they should just be values there okay so right now it wouldn't change it wouldn't change so it wouldn't change so that's it there so we have the least number to be 11 and the most number to be 98 okay so um that certainly means that we're going to have numbers from 10 and uh, down to uh, 98 we will have 99 and others down to 90 so what i'm going to do is just list one and uh, Plus, plus one. What am I doing here? Um, I just need. Okay, so we're going to take it up to nine, and so that's it for us. So those are going to form our stems. So these are going to form our stems, but we're going to do that later then up here I'm going to start from 0 and uh, 
we're going to do the same thing first one and we're going to get as far as we can go here okay so um we're going to stop at 10 so that's what we have here and uh, so we'll start coming up with the numbers so the function that we actually use to achieve this is the count ifs function so let me show you what happens so we're going to say count ifs count ifs we'll come to these numbers here you get it and we're going to lock it because we want it to constantly look at that region and so we're going to tell it count ifs so that's the region it's going to count and then we asked what would be the criteria so the criteria for this is going to be um, this number times so we're going to lock it to stay at that range because we'll be copying it uh, across uh, columns here so here we're going to multiply it we're going to multiply it by 10 so we're going to multiply it by 10 and when we multiply it by 10 we're just going to add we're going to add uh, this here and I'm going to tell you what's really happening here so if you um, um, close the bracket hit your enter button so if we come here and then we select this and hit our F9 button you'll see that what we have there is 10 why is that happening in our formula we had already told it to take 1 multiply it by 10 that's going to give you 10 here and add whatever it's atop here which is 0 here so it's good what you're going to have is 10 so the formula is trying to say uh, count how many tens you're going to find in this distribution of numbers so since we'll be copying down we need to lock this row of 5 here so we're going to just hit F4 twice when we hit F4 twice it locks the, ro the row there okay so um, we look good to go so if we copy down and to the side you know and then this is exactly what we have so now what we're going to do is that we're going to tell it to repeat um, this text up here the number of times it occurs so what we're going to do we have Excel with a function called uh, uh, ripped which is for repeat and uh, what we're going to do is just ask it to repeat what is here so I'm going to lock it so um, we're going to lock it here we need to lock it because I'll be copying down but we don't need to lock it across the columns because we want it to go through with all of this okay so we're going to do this and uh, we're going to concat it with something so I need the ampers and and we're going to concat it with uh, with um, a space you know space like this okay so we're going to concat it and tell it to repeat uh, this so this is what happens when we do that so see so what this tells us that in our data set we've got one occurring here once we've got six that's 16 we've got 17 we've got 18 we've got uh, 10 also here okay so I'm going to select that function there that formula we're going to select it and bring it down so we're already getting what we want you can see that I have 41 occurring twice 42 occurring twice 
43 is occurring twice and just like that okay so if we have got this then that simply means that we are almost set so we can come to maybe just here and then establish our stem this will be our stem down and here stem and then we need to have our leaf here okay so what I'm going to do is to now use the concat you could use the concatenate if you have a, a version of Excel that is below um, um, 2016 um, but you could also use the concat which is uh, the newer version of the same thing uh, for concatenate okay so we're going to concat and this time we want to uh, concat each of these cells so we're going to go one after the other and then um, just concat them So we're going to do that for all of them like this and then close and then close our bracket okay so when we do that you see it gives us this here so I'm going to copy it down and then this is what we have so you can see that we have gotten our stem and leaf diagram here so I'm just going to apply a, a formatting uh, to help us with this um, let me just give this and this okay so that's that's how it looks um, okay and um, just use this one here so you have your stem and leaf diagram here okay so here it shows us the spread of this uh, telling us that we tend to have more persons in the 20s if these were scores then we have more persons who were uh, having scores within the range of 20 you know so that is what we have here um, um, taking place so um this should not be here that should not be there so this is what it should be all right so yeah it's so up to 29 and then we have 30 up to 38 here and so that is how it goes this one entails that we have a 60 and we have two 64s in uh, the range so if we check for 64 here um, if we check for 64 here we are going to have two of them here okay so um, that's how we come about the stem and leaf uh, diagram let me just do a format here so that it could make it distinct for us and then we can use it so here it is so it's not really difficult to carry out if you're doing the visualizations uh, you can easily get this you can easily get this copy and then paste it wherever you want to um, as a link uh, it could be as a link to uh, this or you could use the camera tool to pick it from just anywhere and paste it in your dashboard so that with simple eye inspection uh, the distribution of numbers can easily be seen and uh, sense can be made from uh, their distribution okay. so if you want to plot a chart like you saw earlier 
you could just use the len function and uh, you take all of this the len function and here's your enter so it returns eight for you but actually we have four here so what it's doing it's counting the space in between each of these to give us eight so what we need to do is just divide by two and then we'll get the right thing here so at this point at this point this could be our counts and um, what we can do is just uh, create an area chart based on this so I'm going to go right in here and get all the charts get the area chart and uh, I'm going to pick this one as it's uh, what I would like and then just hit enter and then we will have our area chart here okay so so here our area charts can help us see what the distribution uh, of the numbers look like and that could be very very uh, insightful in case of data okay